Hey guys, welcome to Life is Strange. This is a game that Square Enix have said is going to revolutionise the way that Telltale do their sort of games. You know, the whole episodic, you buy it and then you get it in drips and drabs throughout the year. Currently waiting for Game of Thrones Part 2 and Tales from the Borderlands Part 2, but you know. So, I saw this on Steam and I thought, eh, may as well give it a go. Can't hear it, right? So... Let's do this then. Music is incredible. I like it. God damn. Please let me make it there. This is like Alan Wake all over again. Just get to the lighthouse. Do you have a run button? You don't. Because it'd be helpful if you ran. Because I mean like you're already going to be soaked. Look at this shit, so you may as well run. He, he, yep. I don't think a lighthouse is going to protect you from that. I mean like, Jesus fucking Christ. Is this the start of Sharknado? Is this Sharknado the game? What's that? Is that just, just a random little hut? Okay. Holy shit is right. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Ooh, what's Why that? Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Uh, okay. Because of her images of <gasps> hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the I can't believe case. I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Seriously, though, um, I could frame I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Oh, it's like a selfie. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, um, um, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. 
Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. And you're a Very bitch. Good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extreme. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, that's pretty cool. Huh. ...popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Uh, let's have a look at everything first. Victoria, looks Ooh. like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Titties. There's a printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Okay. Bit of an arsehole, really, isn't she? Oh, what's this? You have just by participating. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Do we get to see a pawn? I want to see a pawn. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. But you're not going... Okay. Oh, there's a photo. Opportunity. Yeah, we took a photo. Yeah, let's talk to him. Excuse them. me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse me. Bitch, you ain't no, saying Victoria. a damn thing. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. B uh, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. She's a bit of an arsehole, I don't like her. All right, let's go. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. You're not doing a good job of going there. She's so fucking shy. I hope I don't have to edit out this song. This is really catchy. She's got killed here. American girls, it's sad to imagine a world. They should just call it a sugar machine. 
That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Let's go into this. No? You're not gonna lie. Do we have to? Okay. This feels weird. Yes, we could. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <gasps> can we take a picture with that thing there? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Go on, you should take a picture with your face and like that. That'd be amazing. Uh, no thanks. Okay. So this poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Okay. Then we got the Illuminati. Hey, Victoria Chase, Firebell. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Okay, so we're meant to be splashing water, right? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, don't rip it up. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Sneak up on the bottom. Oh, okay, we can't sneak. Yeah, we better take a photo before anything happens. Are you scared at? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Holy shit. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? That would be a yes. Oh, our team makes it go faster. I Jump. did it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm a human human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Let's take a selfie again. Don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. When I took Why my else? selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie. 
A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been Max is selfie queen. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Once quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Notice after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Still a bit. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? No way. Oh. Jump. Now, Max, since you've kept. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, that one. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, I want to talk to her again. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Uh, I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Okay. It's just a bump on a bigger road. I guess I'm I have to talk to him again. Excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Quick. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, no bitch. Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars. Blah blah blah. Uh, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding. Just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. And you're almost there. Thank you. Represent Blackwell Academy. You have Excuse blah, blah, blah. me. Let one of photography. John Lennon. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay. Oh, no, we, we don't want to go back in time. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Oh, I can't we'll tell anybody. This way. They'll think I'm crazy. All the side steps. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Great conversation skills. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the. Butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Oh shit. I'm I so need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hell <gasps> more the trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk quick, ass quick, would quick. they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No yeah. Way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. She's got blue hair. Instantly kill. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I mean, I don't I just like. I saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? I didn't like skill as much as the next person. Not freak out. But I would not bring a gun. That's a bit far. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I'm gonna call him Officer Deck. Because he seems like a deck. Oh, I can talk to you. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm going to hide the truth. Because unless he goes and gets him himself, the kid's just going to hide the gun. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too to get. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Uh, yeah, but just straight out saying that a kid has got a gun. I mean, if he doesn't find that gun, we're getting even more shit. I think it's better if we leave it. You can always make amends with him later. Whoa. 